Everton have today been linked with a move for Brian Cristante, the Roma midfielder. He's 29 years of age, can play uh, defensive midfield or centre midfield. He's also had games at centre-back as well, so very versatile. Uh, story coming out of AS Roma today um, and other Italian press that Everton are interested in the midfield player uh, because Roma are very, very interested in, wait for it, the daily Beto. Uh, they're interested in taking Beto as part of the deal. Uh, Juventus have already said that they're going to be priced out of any kind of move for Beto, who scored his first international goal last night for Guinea-Bissau. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what to make of this 29-year-old midfield player on a permanent deal and a swap for Beto and a midfield player that's got one goal in 12. I'm not sure. I know that Everton are seemingly in the market for a midfield player. Obviously, there's links with Alisson Santana earlier in the week, the Brazilian. This one feels just like a lazy link, in my opinion. But it's out there, and we are reporting it. So, obviously, the Freakins uh, group, you know, they own AS Roma, soon to own Everton, it seems. Is it they're just putting those players together in some sort of swap deal? Who knows? Uh, it's thought Claudio Rangieri is a... Uh, an admirer of Beto. We'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Uh, international football. Yesterday, Senegal beat Burundi 2-0. Illiman and Jai uh, created a goal and went off at half-time. Idrissa Garnagate played the full 90 minutes, though, for Senegal. Uh, and Jai did register an assist in that one, like I said. Uh, but he came off in a pre-planned substitute uh, substitution rather than any injury which I was a little bit concerned when I seen him that he'd come off at half time but apparently it was a pre-planned substitute like I say Idrissa Garnagay completed the full 90 for Senegal uh, Vitaly Mikhalenko played for the Ukraine as they won 2-1 yesterday he completed the full 90 there and exciting news for young Everton forward Braden Graham he joined in the summer as a 16-year-old, he's been with Leighton Baines' side. He scored all sorts of goals already. But he came off the bench at half-time for Northern Ireland under-19s last night and scored the winning goal against Albania with just two minutes to play. Um, reiterating his huge potential. Lots of people very, very excited about Braden Graham. And it's, it's obviously kicked up a notch with him scoring an international winner last night. So well done to him. He's had a fantastic start to his Everton career. And finally, Everton have released the latest in a series of videos they've been putting out about the Everton new stadium. This time, it is a video about the new family stand. Um, these are hugely interesting, aren't they, to actually see behind the scenes at the, the Everton new stadium, seeing the size of concourses and stuff, what it's like, the view when you get inside the stadium as well, what turns out to go in and things like that. Uh, so this latest one is the family stand. So check it out. Check the other ones out if you haven't, because it's giving you a great insight. Nothing, you know, none of us have read, or hardly any of us have seen what it is like to, uh, to go down and walk around that new stadium. So it does give you the good insight. Obviously, we've seen the drone footage and all that and they're brilliant all the people who've drone put the drone footage out of our new stadium but we're actually seeing more and more inside the stadium now and um, this is the latest one so make sure you check that one out as the football club moves towards more and more season ticket details pricing will be coming very soon and I know a lot of us are thinking how much is it going to be we'll probably get to know that soon but uh, certainly check out that video also check out the 1878 FM podcast if you haven't already and I've got an interview with former Everton goalkeeper Alan uh, goalkeeper coach Alan Kelly he left the football club in the summer after coached Jordan Pickford check that one out on the Inside the Game podcast that's uh, about Alan's career including is uh, his time spent at Everton. So go and give that a watch if you haven't. Uh, well, not if you haven't, because it's just come out. Go and give that a watch if you like. Um, thanks very much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. See you later.